Hi, right, Calpun Piso here. Epigraphy clearly shows you want to connect the dots that the full wax image of the Christus Julius Caesar uh, placed in a, in a big uh, tropaeum victory symbol like a mannequin on a stick but made out of wax created would create eventually the Jesus Christ on a cross. Death masks became a kind of status symbol. Just like uh, photos of our parents and grandparents and uh, the whole thing originated from uh, the, uh, the uh, crucifix, the mannequin in a stick represented, holding by an angel representing victory uh, that Aeneas brought uh, when he founded Rome. So everything uh, crucifix is a symbol of victory and it was called a tropaeum and Romans carried all the time. They expose and show their, their leaders on this mannequins on a stick. The Romans were extremely religious. In every procession and everything and the triumphs, uh, they had this mannequin on a stick that was represented as a cross with an empty armor with two shields, as you can see here. And the empty armor represented inside the spirit of the god of victory. Uh, the uh, criminals were always bound uh, at defeat or also um, uh, impaled. A conqueror god like Julius Caesar the Christus was greeted with palms like uh, Jesus on Palm Sunday. Here is the bust of Pompey Magnus that the son of Neptune that will be the rival of uh, Caesar Christ. This so-called uh, portrait of Stosculum uh, was uh, made when Julius Caesar was 50 years old. He was the god and savior. This idealized portrait of the Christus, uh, uh, which is kept in the Vatican, was reworked and altered and made it more idealistic um, in the 18th century. So it's not really a true or a loyal copy of the god. Ladies with wings represent victory. They were called Nikes. And uh, mannequin on a stick was a spirit of the god. That followed, frenzied senators lost all control, stabbing Caesar and each other. Historians don't tell everybody the facts. Julius Caesar was a Christus, the son of Venus. And Julius Caesar was his priest. Look, Anthony. Look, Anthony. Many don't realize that Julius Caesar was a Christus. And uh, Mark Antony was his priest, the priest of Julius Caesar. And this is the blessing symbol. This and gesture represents exactly the blessings of the penis. The giver, the creator, Lord that gives the river, the semen, the great light, which is sacred milk, and it's the same like the lady's breast milk. Giving milk or semen is resurrection. And Caesar Christ was the son of Maya, Venus. Julius Caesar Christ was an amazing man, incredibly intelligent, and the lady there that was his wife was. Calpurnia, the daughter of Lucius Calpurnio Piso Cesoninus, my name's sake. These are the goddess shooting milk in the mouth of saints, and here is getting seeming out of a god. All of these rites are copied exactly by the Catholic Church, but they changed the name. And uh, Julius Caesar was a, an amazing man. He gave all the people of 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 all the people of Rome, he gave him money in his will. He also, after this funeral, after this took over uh, two months later, uh, the son of God, Octavius, gave a funeral, games, where it come up here. And, uh, and then he was considered, oh, this is, he appeared close to Venus. Well, this is the proof that Caesar has resurrected. He was found lying in a pool of his own blood. 23 stab wounds in it. Well, could a death mask have been taken of Julius Caesar? According to Appian of Alexandria, a Greek historian of the time, the answer is yes. Got an autopsy too. Appian's writing suggests that a mask was made of Caesar's entire body within hours of his death. There you go. A wax effigy was created from it. Exactly. Stab wounds and all. 
to be displayed at Caesar's funeral. Yeah, right. Put the arm at the funeral. His body was taken to the Campus Martius, where a great pyre was built in his honor. This is the way his wax image would have been displayed by looking at the archaeological record. He even had a temple in the place that he was cremated. Right here, you can see the Romans in ruin. They're all over the place, even in Jerusalem, all over the place. And here is a book about this comet when he became Mark a guy. Antony came forward to give a speech in which he brandished the bloodstained toga of Julius Caesar. Exactly. And put the crowd into a frenzy for their beloved leader. But the arms were extended. This Not was like an that. enormous event. Come on. Mark Antony was determined that. Screwed no up this program here. That this man should a horrible way. And every blind historian ignored the fact that Julius Caesar was a Christus. They always call him a politician, a king, a dictator, and all that. And the evidence is right there. In archaeology, epigraphy is, is, is there. They cannot find uh, the Jesus Christ myth, but, uh, you know, then uh, they say a god, but Julius Caesar, that was really a god, and they don't call him one. The seat for Catholic Church. The problem was that the real body could not be seen lying on the roster. Yeah. So in order to show to the people on the Forum Romano, they erected the white figure, and then, in order that all people can see, Move it. they turn it. Extend the arms, retard! Here, the life-size effigy of the great emperor. Imbeciles! You never, you never treat a guy like a prisoner stuck, you know, you never do that with rope. No, they nail the wax image of Julius Caesar the Christ on a tropa elm. Like it's obvious in all the monuments and everything and in the temples. Are these people blind? What a bunch of idiots. Rotating platform so all of Rome could see the face of Caesar in death. Mark Antony managed to whip the crowd up into such a frenzy right. that they moaned this massive communal groan and then went berserk. They, they ran through the streets of Rome. That's it, Jesus Christ, right there! Limb from limb, and then they rushed to the Senate House and burnt it to the ground. That's right. Sometime during the rioting, the wax effigy of Caesar disappeared. The bloody death mask it came from are unknown. No wonder everybody's so stupid in this country. God, all the false information. You don't treat a god with ropes with a thing tied in. It's, it's ridiculous. And these people call themselves historians? See, they're full of misinformation. I'm pretty sure the Catholic Church is behind that. So you, you don't connect the dots. Christ, the Christus, the Messiah, and then Julius Caesar, there was one. And then you cannot find Christ or Christianity nowhere in the, in the, in the, in Jerusalem. The museum Caesar is over two thousand years old, and historical records indicate the bust was carved when Caesar was fifty years old. I think the Tusum head would probably be the best starting point if you wanted to scan and reproduce a face of what Caesar actually looked like. I think it's a point. Yeah, but the one they talk the great emperor in his prime, around age fifty. You hear that? Great emperor. <laughs> Morons. The new face of Caesar is shown to historian and scholar Antony Cam. He has studied the life of Julius Caesar for decades. I'm sure the nose is right. That's a Roman nose. A forehead of an intellectual. He was a towering intellectual. Oh yeah, he's an epicure. His are daring through one, as I'm sure he did uh, not only with his subordinates, with his staff, but also, I would guess, his women. Really rich details from the literary sources of what Caesar looked like, so we hear that he had... Of course. He's about as close as we will ever get to knowing what he looked like. It is absolutely amazing. The, the archaeological evidence is there for all to see if you connect all the dots. And... Uh, the Catholic Church, which is the creators, since because of the creators of, of, of Christianity, have been fooling everybody all the time and creating their own history. And they're so stupid and retarded because their brains don't work too well and they don't see these things. We have coins. We have, he had temples. Uh, he had priests. The Roman Empire was huge. There were priests all the time. They personified everything. Julius Caesar was a man of the people. He wanted to, you know, uh, save everybody, you know, to give money to the poor and turn the other cheek and forgive the sins and everything else. The Senate, on the other hand, wanted to, to take advantage of everyone. And he was personified as 
the devil. Satan is Senate. Pace di Dio.